guys, it's Hans. Welcome to week 97 of the journal on Monday series. I just cut a piece of Primo paper to the right size to fit my vanity mixed media art journal. And now I'm distressing the edges, adding just a little bit of distress ink and then playing with a baby wipe to blend it just a tiny bit. Spraying some chalkboard over a Finovar stencil quickly drying it and now I can start mixing up two products that I would like to add. The first one is gel medium that I'm simply putting in a jar and then I'm scraping some pen pastel in it. It's not the first time I'm doing this technique so don't be afraid it won't kill my pen pastel it's something that you could do as well. Just gently scrape the pen pastel and then you can use the powder as a pigment. So I'm using it to colorize my uh, gel medium and it will give me a very deep um, color. Applying it over a stencil, which is again the same kind of our checkered stencil. And now that it's dry, I can go on with the next step. Now I thought this piece of fabric would give me the same effect as cambric. Um, I wanted to apply the gesso over it and then um, take it back off so that I had very tiny squares of uh, gesso on my paper but it doesn't work like cambric so I'm really sorry <laughs> I'm just faithful to my cambric it's you can only buy it at the pharmacy it's actually a medical uh, product so don't try to find it in a fabric store because they won't even know what you're talking about um, it's sturdier than a cheesecloth so I can use it, in this case, as a stencil. Now that I have gesso everywhere that I want, I'm leaving my piece of cambric to dry aside. By the way, this piece of cambric already has some color on it. And now that the gesso is almost dried, I'm using a baby wipe to take it off the gel medium again. But I'm not taking it off completely, I want it to look um, a bit distressed. This is a strip of Tim Holtz paper that I'm just uh, trimming to the right size. And if you would like to have all the um, references of all the products that I use, for each video I have a list of ingredients on my blog. Uh, in the labels you will find um, journal on Monday or videos, so if you choose that one you will have an overview of all the um, blog posts I made for each video. Um, so even the name of the colors or what kind of journal I've been using is listed on there. So I'm trimming my dried cambric to the right size and ripping it a bit apart. And as I have gesso on it, it's a bit harder to rip it apart, so I'm using my pliers to really take it apart. Now as I still have some gesso on my table, I'm using it to rub it on uh, the paper. Before adhering everything to my paper, I decided to add some washi tape to it. And I also wanted to add some stamping and to do so I'm using Adirondack ink so that I have the same color as that I already have on my paper. And I'm using my Stampatique stamp, which is, this one is the French journal page. 
And now I can stick everything to the paper. I'm adding a bit more distress ink on the edges of this paper strip as it's too white compared to what's going on in the background. Now to make sure that everything will stay uh, in place, I'm putting a weight on it while I'm gluing uh, the other side of the spread. I'm trimming the excess cambric away as I want this spread to look as if it was one page that has been cut in half so that there is a continuity between both sides. and adding just a tiny bit of distress ink as well at the, in the middle. Now I decided I needed a little bit more gesso on this side of my spread, so I'm going back in with a piece of cambric as a mask or stencil and then applying gesso over it. I do want to add a tiny bit more color, so I'm spraying with Lindy's Gang Starburst, which is um, a blinky spray ink. And then I'm also adding some splatters in the same color. Cutting up a little 7 Dot Studio tag. And to add a metal touch to the spread, I'm adding um, rusted eyelid. And to do so, I'm using my Big Bite. This is a first touch of metal that I let, but it's definitely not enough. So I'm also adding some breads that I've been rusting as well. Um, and I'm simply going over the holes that are printed on the paper just to um, enhance the print. And now I can use my mini tag for just some very short journaling. And now I can finally add uh, the stamping that will give the whole meaning to the spread, at least to me. Um, it's a countdown and I'm using a foam stamp uh, collection. I don't even remember the brand of this one, so if everyone, um, if anyone knows who made these, please let me know so that I can add it to the list. Um, and I stamped it with red stays on ink. Now I want to make them, um, to give them a bit more volume. So on one side I'm going around with charcoal pencil to add a shade and I'm also blending it using a blending stump. And then on the other side I will add a highlight with a white uh, uniball pen.
To accentuate the red on the spread, I'm also adding some red washi tape on the other side um, of the spread. I chose a chit chat sticker from Tim Holtz to add one more word to my spread and after adding some distress ink on the edges I'm gluing it down. I'm adding some glue to make sure that it will um, stay in place. And now I can also glue down my tag and as there is quite some volume due to the eyelet and uh, the piece of um, rope I'm using my mini attacher. Adding some more splatters. And as my fluid acrylic has dried a bit, I have to add some water to make sure that it will splatter. And I really liked the reaction that it had with the red stays on. It turned um, slightly pink when it dried. Very fun effect. And adding some more colorized uh, splatters as well. When I came back to it next morning, I added some sewing as final touch on the edges and then I also decided to add some more stamping in uh, black archival ink. This is my meadow stamp and I'm using post-its as a mask to stamp only where I want to have the stamping. And I also added some um, glimmer glaze on top of my chit chat sticker to make the word pop a bit more. That's about it for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Both are very much appreciated. And see you back next time. Ta-da!